welcome. If you're here, you want to learn how to mod Skyrim Special Edition, and that's what I'm going to show you. Now, of course, you do need a few obvious things. You will need a copy of Skyrim Special Edition. In this particular series of videos, I'm going to be assuming you're using the Steam version of the game. Now, if you have installed the game recently, or installed it a while back but never actually played it, it is important that you launch the game through Steam at least once. This performs a couple of important tasks. First, it does the basic setup that all Steam games require, and it will also detect your graphics hardware and set the graphics quality accordingly. Of course, if it sets it to something you don't prefer, or it has issues, such as if you are using certain external monitors, then you may have to set this manually. Once you've done that, you should be ready to begin modding. Alright, now the first thing you are going to need to actually begin your journey on modding is of course a mod manager. Now there are a few out there that all claim to be the best, but the one I've worked with the longest and the one that is my personal favorite and that I'll be using for the course of these videos is Mod Organizer 2. It's pretty easy to find on the Nexus Mods site. If you just Google Skyrim SE Mod Organizer 2, this page should be one of the first results that comes up. Once you've found this, you will of course need to download it. You may read the description if you wish, it can be quite useful. Once you're ready, go to the Files tab and, of course, you will probably want the installer version. You can use the archive version, but it's a bit more complex and I'm not going to cover how to do it. You will want to manually download the installer version of Mod Organizer 2, and when this page comes up, it will give you the option to either slow download or fast download. Fast download requires a Nexus Premium account, which, if you're here, you probably don't have, so you're going to want the slow download. It will give you an option to, do to donate to the person who created the mod, but it's certainly not required. Eventually, Mod Organizer 2 will begin to install. Once you've downloaded the Mod Organizer 2 installer, you will of course want to run it. Windows, or whatever operating system you use, will likely give you a warning about an unknown publisher, but it's okay to run this, it's been tested many times. You will then of course want to make sure you read the public license very closely, and then accept the agreement. Continuing on, you should choose where you want your Mod Organizer files installed. Now it will give you this preset file path, but that may not be the most useful place. Typically the best place to install this would be in your Skyrim folder. The first thing you're going to need to do to find your Skyrim folder is locate your Steam folder wherever you installed it. Next, you'll need to locate your Steam Apps folder inside, and then your Common folder inside that. This will give you your folders for all of your installed games, and Skyrim Special Edition should be here. At this point, it may be helpful to copy the file path. Once you have the file path copied, you can simply paste it into this box. However, before you continue on, you will probably want to add another folder to the end here by adding another slash, and then typing in mo2 or whatever you like. This is just to add another folder Mod Organizer will install in to make sure its files don't get all mixed up with your Skyrim files. Either way, technically works. After that step, you will be met with this list of components that Mod Organizer 2 installs. All of them are very necessary and very useful. And I would actually recommend also taking the handle Nexus links, which will allow you to directly download mods from Skyrim Nexus to Mod Organizer. After this, you can choose whether or not you want a Start Menu folder or a Desktop Shortcut. It will give you a review to make sure all the settings are like you want, and then you may install Mod Organizer. Once Mod Organizer 2 has finished installing, it will let you automatically launch Mod Organizer. There's a lot of information here, but you'll learn it over time naturally as you install things. For now, the most important things are to make sure you have Skyrim Special Edition and Skyrim Special Edition Launcher in this list. You may also come up here to the Settings tab and change the language from English to something else you like, or change the style. Personally, I prefer a dark mode. And now, you should have Mod Organizer 2 set up. 
Next, we'll cover installing some of the basic mods and tools needed to get off of your feet, so to speak.